to uh, be the principal of this middle school and proud to welcome you to a very historical day here for our community. Um, that bell was the original bell that uh, Mr. Jackson and uh, friend Fred T uh, Turner recreated for us and found and dug out of a closet and storage so much appreciation to Dan for that. Uh, but again welcome I'm glad you're here today. Whether you've attended this school in the past, you, you attend it now, you simply drive by, you see its strength, you see its power and endurance by the sandstone that it was created from, harvested by its own community. It's a very special school, not only backed by its community, by tax dollars, but backed by its community because it was harvested from the ground of this community and built by the back of this community. I mean, it's a very special day. This building will endure the ravages of time, generations to come, but it's more than a building and a structure. It's a place for us to educate and train our children for their ever-changing future. That was said here 100 years ago. That was an excerpt from the original opening ceremony in 1910. Never more fitting as it was in 1910 as it is today. However, I don't know if our past community leaders would have realized how much this building would have been endured and how many people's lives would be empowered and touched by walking through her walls. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, someone special who helped put this on, um, Superintendent Greg Ring. Without his support, we would not have been able to do this, but I would like to turn the microphone over to uh, Fireland School Superintendent Greg Ring. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Brand. On behalf of the Board of Education, the 1,900 students, the 250 staff members that make up the Fireland Schools, I'd like to welcome all of you. This is a wonderful turnout. You never know quite what to expect at something like this, but a quick count looked at, uh, it looked like almost 100 people on the lawn right now, and I'm sure there'll be more come through throughout the day. So welcome. We're glad that you're here. Oh, if these walls could talk, huh? Wow, you go back 100 years, and I heard a few stories. Uh, down in the hall, some of you were reminiscing. I won't tell those stories out here publicly, but uh, uh, this still serves as a wonderful place for children to learn. This, I'm sure many of you know, but currently it houses the 6th, 7th, and 8th grades uh, and has a wonderful staff. The custodial staff, the office staff, the teachers in particular, especially Mr. Brand, uh, wonderful people, wonderful children, and it's still serving our community's children very, very well. And you stop and you think, over the past hundred years, how many children have walked through the halls of this institution and got their start on life. Many of you, probably most of you, were among those many that we've counted. I don't know how many that would be, but it's a lot of people. So I'd also like to thank Mr. Brand uh, for heading up the uh, celebration committee. I know Mrs. Alsop, perhaps some, of the, uh, some other of you were involved with that. Thank you for doing this. This is truly a day of celebration, and I truly hope that you enjoy yourselves today. Thank you. The village has issued a proclamation this proclamation is given to the Fireland School Board in recognition of its 100-year anniversary of South Amherst Village Middle School. The building was constructed in 1910 and was Amherst Township and later became the village of South Amherst. The school has served many generations and families and shared our children, prepared our children for the world. There's also social gathering places for old friends to come and meet, talk about old times. The school has hosted many school and community events 
as well as serving as hosting meetings for the school board and the residents of, of events in the area. We recommend record we can commend the school board on keeping the integrity of the building and always in the beautiful condition that it has been in. The village has also been I mean the school has also been a cornerstone of the village and as well as for the school district. This proclamation is presented by the village of South Amherst on the 14th day of August 1910. I mean 2010. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Mayor Schmidt and the entire village council for honoring the school district in such a in such a manner. Uh, a couple other thank yous. I don't know if you notice on the wall there um, next next to the sandstone the wood. The Amherst Historical Society did decide to honor us and make this building a landmark, historical landmark. So. Much appreciation to them uh, and to expedite the process for us. Uh, but they definitely did a nice job for us. A couple of thank yous that I would like to extend um, again to Superintendent Ring, to uh, Assistant Superintendent Engler for his hard work in enabling us to do this. Barb Bechtel. To, uh, for the help that she's given and guidance to put this event on. Um, but there's definitely a great deal, a number of people who came together to put a, a large event like this on. Uh, I can't thank all of them, but uh, there are a few that stand out that I would like to thank. Um, especially, I want to thank uh, Bob Kende and Dan Jackson and their entire crew. Uh, they did an amazing job ask them to do a task that normally takes them 60 work days to do it in 40 so it'll be ready for you i think it looks absolutely amazing um, above and beyond they went again thank you so much dan and your crew also everything that's going to go on in the back could not have happened without kathy scleric and ellen gunderson they did an awful lot of work to orchestrate and get that uh, together and then the two people, truly, who headed the committee, who should really be speaking today, uh, Tanya Collins and uh, Janet Alsop. They did all the grunt work and all the late work for this, so thank them. You know, today, today is about honoring the legacy of a 100-year-old building, but it's truly more than that. It's about honoring the memories of over 7,000 students who have walked through these halls, had their lives touched, the education that they received, and empowered them to go on with their life. That's what today is about. Honoring those memories and the memories of the staff, teachers, who love to work here every day. Um, so as you go about your day today, it's really more about the memories than it is about the building. The memories that happened within their walls. So you know what's going on today. Feel free to walk the building. Most of the building is open for you to walk through, leisurely tour yourself to reminisce. In the back, we have carnival games and food for you to enjoy. The small gym has um, some memorabilia for you to go look through. At two o'clock, um, Maybell Dickinson, who is our eldest known a living graduate. She will be doing a cake cutting ceremony. Uh, she was also a board member and instrumental in this in this school in this district for a number of years. Also, if you are a past teacher or staff member, uh, please please see one of our photographers here. Uh, make sure that they get your name, and uh, we can kind of keep track of that. If you're in the small gym, sign in. We would like to know how many people uh, have come today. Uh, there is a little sign in for that just just so we can kind of keep track of how many people came today So again, enjoy your day and uh, Thank you so much for coming and being a part of another historical moment in a building that's full of history. Thank you
The Hall of Shame. The Hall of Shame? Shame. <laughs> What's that? Smile Sony! And three yeah. years? Yeah, three years. Beautiful. And what about those three years? Oh, wonderful. Best three I ever had. I'm not kidding.